Christmas at the fort, you don't want to miss this one. Fort Wilderness and it, we're gonna get to stay there for two weeks so we're gonna be here through Turn Christmas left left I'm so excited to get to see all of the Christmas displays and we might be able to get our rig decorated a little bit it's not I'm sure it won't be as extravagant as all the other ones but <laughs> the last time we were here we had the 43 foot rig and we got a spot that was super tight and we had to back in and that was not a fun experience how long did it take us like 45 minutes to back in to four to five minutes yeah four to five yeah, we'll yeah, so this time it's going to be easier because our rig's smaller and this 35 foot is way easier to get in and out of spots. But Ryan, you still look a little nervous. I don't know. Turn left we just the don't back in. We, don't, we never back in. We just, you know, we just need to practice. in like a champ it's much different when you don't have a 43 foot fifth wheel to try to put into a spot this 35 gosh in so many ways it is really nice I mean traveling through big cities and man, we can get in so many more places I do what I do love the room of a 43 foot I would love to have the room like I feel like we are out of space and I'm gonna have to do a lot of organizing and I'm hoping to start doing that tonight so Anyway, I'm excited. It feels like Disney here and I'm, we're kind of, we're close to where we were um, in January, 2020. We are maybe only two sites down. So we're right by the comfort station, right by the campfire at night. So it's kind of like the same kind of thing, but what's cool this time is we have our e-bikes. So that'll be fun. I just rode up to the office and that was a quick ride. So yeah, we're just gonna unhitch. We're going to get all of our stuff put in, cool the rig down and uh, yeah, enjoy this evening it's gonna be so fun I'm super excited can you tell um, so of course the thing here is to decorate Christmassy we don't have a lot of Christmas stuff because we couldn't really fit a lot with us I brought a couple things I have an idea we're gonna to try to make work we have to order some things off Amazon and we'll see if it turns out good if it turns out good it's gonna be adorable with the colors of our rig and everything so that'll be exciting I'm kind of just rambling because Ryan's doing all the work and I'm just standing here that's pretty much how it goes how many of you ladies which I'm sure it's probably quite a few, help to get everything set up. Like you just jump out and you just go help your husband and you get it all put away. Ryan's pretty particular with how he does things. He's kind of got a system. I'm usually with the dogs and then I get out when everything's done, which is kind of nice. He turns the air conditioner on. Gosh, I sound spoiled. We're going on a scavenger hunt. Apparently people in the campground post on the Fort Wilderness website, no it's on their Facebook page, um, little clues and you go find things around the campsite. So we're in search of, I don't know what it is, there are little goodie bags at. Is it really a scavenger hunt when they just tell you your site number and say come <laughs> get goodies? Hi guys. Merry Christmas, we saw your post. These guys made all these treats, they even have dog treats over here, isn't that cool? Thank you guys, Merry Christmas. Does anybody else, did you get one? Look at these cute little boxes. There's just somebody sitting here just giving them away. That's awesome. Thank you guys. That is so cute. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, that's a candy. Okay, now we're headed to find their Mickey Mouse keychain. Something else somebody posted. Well, this is so cool. Christmas presents. Just keep them away from the awesome. Hi. Oh, sure. Thank you so much. So now we're on the scavenger hunt, for real this time. People post little things here and there and they say, come find it. Right now, two minutes ago, somebody posted that they have a blanket, a Mickey Mouse blanket somewhere. We think it's in the back. That's by the beach area. Yeah, it's in the back by the beach, so we're headed back so that's there. The beach, that's we're the gonna try to beat everybody this is and get down there. Slow. I need my bike. This my is bike really, why is ours? I think I we have a really six. A really slow golf. Yeah, our e-bikes are actually faster than her golf cart. When the snow falls and oh my God, you can hold me tight. This is like the best. It is so big. Oh, you needed a big one. Jingle 
We were saying how like, we wouldn't find one that would fit his big head, but look, it's cute. Have a Merry Christmas. Is this it? I don't know. Which one? One per group. Stop. Stop. Make it a mini. Uh, mini. 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 Oh my gosh, thank you guys. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. Everybody snowed in, but we got the fire going. Who cares what the weathermen say? But with the ones we love on Christmas Day. No matter when you visit the fort, there will always be sites that are decorated at Christmas time. Wow, this is a whole nother level of decorations. This site, to me, won first place. They have so much decorations, it's crazy take up a whole corner. I don't even know how they get all this stuff here. It was really cool. Golf carts at night, they ride around. Everybody just parades around in a long train looking at all the Christmas decorations everywhere. It's really neat. Fort, they normally do horse-drawn carriage rides throughout the evenings, but because of this time of year, they're doing sleigh rides. Check this out. party over here but they're also doing the voting for the top um, float today and I mean that's like the top five over there we've got Santa even they're bright people with like and look at the snow I mean they want to win bad so this and, you should vote. and you should vote for number one I told you number one I got this candy cane just so that yeah yeah candy cane that's right that's awesome. <laughs> I told you that's great some really pretty cool things here while we've been staying and we want to share some of those things with you so that when you come you can enjoy it as much or if not more than we have. And the center in Fort Wilderness is what's called the Meadows area. It's kind of the central place for everything. There's tennis courts, it's the swimming pools, there's also a place where you can rent kayaks and bikes and there's the place where you can watch movies and have s'mores. We're in the 1400 loop that's just right off there. It's a premium meadow site. They call it premium because it's so close to the meadows. No RV, no problem. Disney also has cabins you can rent. The fort has an inner bus system, so you can take the bus to different stops inside the fort, all the different campsites and um, different loops you want to go to or to food. Um, it's kind of a quick way to get around. It also takes you up front where you can catch another bus to go take you to all the different theme parks and Disney Springs where you can do all of your shopping and get all of your souvenirs. The best and most popular way to get around Fort Wilderness is by renting a golf cart or bringing your golf cart. You can get them up at the front desk. We bring our pups with us. We go looping in the evenings. It's a great way to get around. There's two little convenience stores on site at the fort. There's one kind of in the center at the meadows and there's one in the back at the settlement that have kind of just your essentials, even some RV goodies. But right now I'm getting ready to go in here to buy three gift cards, a 25 and a 50 and a 100. And you're gonna have to hang on and we'll share with you later what we're gonna use them for. Something that we love about Fort Wilderness is they are very pet friendly. So we can take your dogs on all the paths. You can, the only place you can't take them is in the building. So we can take our dogs all over with us and they love it. We go for lots of walks, it's a big area. We also love the dog parks. There's two very big dog parks. You can play Frisbee, they can run for a long time. It's been really great. They have one for small dogs, one for big dogs. If you need to do laundry, there are comfort stations in almost every loop. They have showers, bathrooms, you can wash and dry your clothes. Three dollars for a load, dollar fifty to dry. These key cards you can use throughout the parks and you can use them at the campsite. It gets you into the restrooms after hours. It also, you can do your laundry with it. You just hook your debit card up to it. You can buy food. You can even take it to Disney Springs and use it. The 1400 loop's been really convenient for us both times we've been here. They have a sing-along around the campfire every night. You can get stuff to make s'mores. They also play a movie at night. One of my favorite things is that there are restaurants just right on site. You don't have to go very far. There's P&J's takeout. You can take out, you can sit down with your family and eat. They have a tavern. And then while we are here right now, they are having food trucks that come every night from 5.30, I think, to 9. And they have like pizza cones, which is what I'm eating right now. And they have ice cream, all kinds of different Mexican food trucks. 
Okay, right at the beach down here at Fort Wilderness Campground, you can go down and watch the fireworks every night if you want. And I mean, the view is really cool. If you walk down a little further on the beach, you can actually see the castle light up. So when you come down here to the docks, there's also a night parade water show. We found something at the fort that has been occupying our time. Did you know that they have a scavenger hunt? Okay, so this has been a lot of fun. We were going through the Facebook groups. There's a Facebook group. Sir, what's the Facebook group? It's the group original called? Fort Wilderness scavenger hunt. So this has taken our time. And I don't want to say taken our time. It's been entertaining for us. A lot of fun. Every night. So we go out. They People post things. They hide them. <laughs> and then you go out and you find them. With okay. Some have good clues. Some of them just have a picture. And it's been a lot of fun. We spend a lot of time doing it. And it gets addicting. And then pretty soon we're like, you know what? Maybe we should hide something. So like right now, we're out kind of in the middle of nowhere <laughs> talking about this. Because we're like, well, we don't want people to know what yeah. we're talking about. Because... Everybody watches everybody. <laughs> they do. Whatever. It's like this known group of people that know that the scavenger hunt mm -hmm. exists. And so they kind of watch. As we drive around, we see somebody hiding something or in the bushes. Like, oh, what are they doing? Hiding something. They're, they're, it's going to be for the scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. So we decided to do it. We have three gift cards we're going to give away tonight. A $25, a $50, and a $100 like, grand prize gift card. So to see how it worked, we bought a $25 gift card and we hit it like two nights ago just to see how it worked. He realized that we didn't do that one quite right because it was found in like literal seconds. We left the GPS coordinates in the picture. So we posted the, the thing and within four to five minutes, mm -hmm. everybody swooped in on a location yeah. where we hid it. It was a pretty hidden location and I couldn't even get my phone up to take video fast enough before someone is already in the locations. So we're like, Ryan, you totally figured it out. So we posted that and within five minutes, somebody found it. That was quick. That was way quick. Now we know we got to be a little bit more difficult because she, they found that really super. Oh, I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. Somebody already found it. The gift card? Yeah. You sure? Well, they posted, found it. <gasps> so we don't know for sure if they used it. They had to use the GPS location. I, know. I don't know. We're going to turn them off though tonight for sure on all the photos. But that, that was an amateur mistake. Okay. But here's what we're doing now. So Sarah bought three gift cards. We have them denominations of 25, 50, and 100. And we're gonna make the first one semi-easy, the okay. second one a little harder, and then the third one, we, I would hope Maybe it's gonna hard. be hard. We, we thought, we we'll thought, we thought <laughs> the one we did last night was hard, but I guess with GPS coordinates, it's not very hard. No. Okay, we're doing our first one. We're gonna do it underneath the bus seat. Road's empty right now. There's no one either way. Okay, so we're 15 minutes in and nobody has come over to where we hit it yet, but <laughs> over in the meadows, people are looking, so. I think it's our clue. It made them think it's in the pool, but it's not. Yeah, it's not, it's, <laughs> it's not in the pool. We're looking, we're gonna get it. They got it, they got it. As soon as we posted on Facebook, these people walked by us and they were trying to figure out the clue. They later circled back around to this area. They went over, found underneath the bench. A lot of people, when they find the clue, they will just post in the group, found, but these people actually, they posted a picture holding it. So that was kind of fun. Just hit another $25 gift card in what used to be the Fort Wilderness Railroad. If you don't know about the Fort Wilderness Railroad, I'm gonna put a link to it right up here. But we're getting ready to put that clue out right now. Okay, we just hid the 50 right there. Right there. The 50. So they found it. So they just found it. It's 10.49 night. We're posting our last one. Here it goes. We just hit our last thing. And there's probably at least 30, maybe 40 or more people out here looking with flashlights for it. But I'm thinking somebody found it. So anyway, this is so crazy. And around the settlement over there, we can see all those people over there. There's so many people with flashlights. So we 
just finished up our third gift card and it was that was so awesome <laughs> it was crazy so we waited until the settlement area was closed all the food trucks everything down here was closed before we announced it and then we did the gift card <laughs> saying that it was hidden in the settlement area that way we knew that everybody that came down here was looking for the gift card that was cr intense. So many people. I wish I knew how a count of how many people were down here looking for that. It was. It, we saw golf carts <laughs> racing through, bikes coming in, cars can't come into this area, but they would park out front and people jumping They're out. Dropping was, people out of cars. It and was stuff. entertaining and I, fun. I could do that all day. I could watch that all day. Yeah, it was. It was actually a lot of fun. And now we got to think about next time we come. I just love everyone out. I know. It's so like awesome. everyone's looking like they're for a million dollars. I know. I so it did take them a little while to find it. So what we did is we circled the area and said it's somewhere in this area. And then after everybody was searching the area for a while, we shrunk the circle, made it smaller. And several times people would come up and look where we had hit it. A few times I texted Ryan, I'm like, oh, it's found. But it wasn't. It took quite a while. It took a lot of people and it was, it was so entertaining. People would look at it and then bypass it. It was just a little red envelope. <laughs> and then finally somebody got it but it was, it, was, was awesome. it was so much fun it was a blast you gotta do the scavenger hunt mm -hmm. when you're here either participate because mm -hmm. participating was a blast yeah it was fun or just search i guess that's participating too right yeah both of it is but i think once we started doing the gift cards i think that that's kind of addicting I wanna do, what, what can we do next time we're gonna yeah we gotta come up with something better about next it now. time <laughs> If you're Disney fans like we are, you know how leaving is the hardest part. You just want to stay a little bit longer. And the fort is like its own destination. You don't even have to go to the theme park. There's so much to do Which here. you didn't even go to the theme parks. The girls and I went to the theme parks. And also with your reservation, you get early morning entry to the parks. We did it twice. We rode on all the rides before it even opened. And there's trans all the transportation's mm -hmm. free. And from at the back, the marina, you can jump on the boat, that the, the ferry, that will take you over to the Magic Kingdom. Or you can get on the buses. The buses leave here too and they go to all the different theme parks. Fort Wilderness is truly a very magical place, don't, especially at Christmas time. But don't forget to rent your golf cart, kayaks, bikes, watch a movie under the stars, don't forget s'mores. And the scavenger hunt. It was absolutely an Definitely amazing experience. Hunt. If you want to check our video out when we were at Fort Wilderness prior to this, check out the link below. And. We'll see you next time. We'll see ya. Laughter floats through the air, wrapping paper everywhere. Living in Christmas style, that's right